Good afternoon and good evening. Welcome to the fake news show. This is your host, Benny. Oh my god, I've been so busy. Uh, I need to send this. I haven't even had the time to uh, send my broadcast to another server that I have in Europe because they've they just been asking me to send ser uh, my broadcast to that server. So hopefully I get it done. Um, and I hate to do it right now because I'm running out of time because I still have to do my um, my Spanish show. But I got to do what I got to do. I'm sorry for this. Uh, let me just take one minute because I got a lot of news. This, this show is going to be a little bit longer, okay? Just to let you know. We are very, 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 very good position, but you got to know what happened in the meeting, all right? All right, hold on one second. Let's see. All righty. Let me see if I can get these people right here in this server and send my broadcasting before they get really pissed off. And uh, let me see. Oh, I want to also appreciate that uh, some other, um, I think it was the Night Gurus are basically uh, spreading my show. Thank you. The more people I can get to be listened to, the better educated they are. They're going to become, right? So, well, I can do this one. All right, fine. Now, let's, uh, did you just heard it was our president, President Donald Trump, addressing one of the most dangerous industrials in industry I'm sorry he's address he's addressing something that no other president has ever addressed he's being addressed he just addressed something and when is gonna go against one of the biggest if it is one if it is the, the biggest industry in the world and the biggest industry in the United States all right so what is actually he just said about it he was talking about it he just make he just made the emergency national emergency to the number one cause right now in the United States and all the president had done it because all the presidents they all were puppets Okay, from this big industry. Which in industry I'm talking about? I'm talking about the pharmaceutical industry. The pharmaceutical industry, it is the most corrupt industry in the planet. The most corrupt industry in the planet is literally killing humanity as we're speaking by providing you with Medicines, so-called drugs, that will lead to death in less time expected. And I'm making this up. Not only that, every single drugs in the market have been purposely, purposely manufactured for you to become addicted to it. And now the president of the United States, the only one, the only president that has never, that has no connections with the Bilderberg Group, with the establishment, has announced he's going to make it a primary emergency. What is this going to be lead to? It's going to lead to opening the doors for alternative medicine. Watch. It's going to be opening the door for alternative medicine. Alternative cures. That will bring cures to the most important health issues in our country. And eventually will go viral all over the planet. This is another fact of what I'm going to tell you later on. How the Nasara will be implemented. You were told that the Nasara was supposed to be given to the, to the world through a law. And force everybody to resign. No. 
How would that change? They knew that if they even implement the law, nobody was going to resign. Nobody. Okay? So, how can they bring the Nesara law a reality? By converting the law into an agenda. Donald Trump agenda. So now he's going to kill the industry, or the most corrupt industry, the pharmaceutical industry, and eventually all the doors and all the alternative cures will be a sponsor and will be implemented by new laws that will have people in the United States have access to all those cures, those alternative cures that will cure cancer that will cure many other things, even tumors, everything. What you are about to see is the, mo is the biggest change of your reality. I've been saying it, and now I'm confirming it. I told you yesterday in my show, wait for tomorrow. I have two intels that I did not want to mention it. My first intel was that the UN was supposed to remove Iraq for all the restrictions. That happened last night. We just had a party in Facebook. Like in 1999, we had a party. So that happened last night. Iraq is now free. No restrictions. None. And the second was this. This pharmaceutical. The Donald Trump. All we need is for Donald Trump to mention the word the new republic. And when he does this, he will trigger another big event. I'm not going to mention that big event, but I'm going to tell you something. He's supposed to say the big republic. And when he mentioned that, just wait and watch. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be priceless. Okay? All right. So, let's continue with the show because you're not here to listen to conspiracy theories and uh, intel that you probably don't give a damn. Because you just want to know when you are, are you going to get paid, right? Of course you do. Everybody wants to know when they're going to get paid. Alrighty then. So, let me, before I tell you when you're going to get paid, because that is part of my intel. I got to read the news because people are going to get pissed if I don't read the news, okay? So let me, there are not too many news. There's just two of them. Very important news. And let me check my server because I don't know if my server is working. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Yes, it is working. Oh, let me just take this away. Okay. All right. Okay. So. Thank you for your emails. I've been receiving a lot of emails. Also, thank you for uh, sticking with me because in Spanish, I have so many people listening to my Spanish show. My server went down. Literally, I had to do two shows. All right. So, hopefully in English, it won't happen again because I even talked to the server administrator and they told me that, well, you know, if you want more bandwidth, you can pay more. That's so lovely. Okay. So let me go ahead and read the news. My first news comes from Iraq, and it says like this. The global diplomatic compass is heading towards Baghdad. They know already they are calling the attention of the whole world, all the major, most powerful uh, countries, industrial uh, countries. Uh, the most powerful economic countries are, he are heading to, to Baghdad. Because they know they're going to make billions of dollars by being part of just the reconstruction of that country. Okay? But the Iraq is, it will be in a very, very close future. One of the most, well, it's already wealthy, but one of the most prosperous country in the face of the world. Okay? Let me just tell you something. Um, Dubai would not even be close to Iraq, believe it or not. And anybody who has gone through Dubai, they can tell you that Dubai, it is the state-of-the-art 
countries in the world. The state of the art cities in the world. Okay? Well, guess what? Iraq will overpass Dubai, believe it or not. Okay. Let me just uh, silence my uh, cell phone because they people are going crazy. Uh, okay. So the next, the next uh, uh, news, and notice that I'm not reading the news. Because you are just telling you, I basically I'm telling you, I summarize what it's about. I just got to read the title and I know what it's about. All right, so uh, let me just go for the second news. The second news talk about, it says right there, it says report, electronic payment removes the dinar from the pockets of employees. Again, this is a bad translation. Basically, what he's talking about, it is that they're implementing, they're forcing everybody to use ATM cards. They're going digital. They need that. Okay? They need to implement new technology to be right there besides the other countries. That's all about. And they're implementing a very sophisticated um, way of going electronic. All right? That will be coming the EDR, uh, and they're going to pay all the salaries, etc., etc., etc. So I'm going to put those, I'm going to publish these two articles on my Facebook page. For those who are in my Facebook page. And for those who are not, you can find this on search for dinar wordpress.com and also uh, oh, both both of them that comes from dinar gurus. You can go to any dinar uh, website and you can read those news and more. Okay. But I just found these two these two articles very interesting to make to to make sure that everybody understands what's going on. So now let's go to the part that I want to talk about. If you are part of the Nar Gurus or any other, because I don't really know how many Dinar RB pages are around. I think I know about four of them. I'm not really sure. Uh, there's another one called uh, Dinar Investigators, I think it is called. I don't remember. Anyway, so. They all, I've been told, they, they've been sending emails to all their subscribers, and they are already, they are already, um, they are already sending recommendations to prepare people for the RB. Okay? So right now, there's a lot of people, they're going nuts because of this. All right? I'm um, sorry for that. So, um, what I'm going to do right now, because I've been told to do the same thing, I'm going to give you just some of the points that I already repeated, okay? So, i got to read this because somebody asked me to do so. So, let me just go over here to find out what it is. Uh, I think it was over here. Oh, here it is. So, basically, let me just give you some of the... Uh, checklist post rb all right i'm just gonna mention just some of them there's too many of them but it's a good it's a good information and um it's a good information because the more that you inform the more that you educate it the better you're gonna be able to handle the situation when the rb happens all right watch and notice that everything I've been telling you has been happening exactly that way. I've been telling you. The closer that we get, you will be getting contact and emails from the private groups. I've been having already dozen, I mean, maybe about 24 people, two dozen of people telling me that they're, they're being connected by private groups. I told you that, right? I told you, didn't I? Okay, uh, I told you that the closer that we get, there will be a lot of morons over the internet saying that this is not going to happen. I even had a moron saying, I heard the RB, they killed the RB. Is that true? This is how people react. The more that we close to the RB, the more they disinform and they falsely put up a lot of bullcrap into people's mind. I told you that, and it's happening, okay? 
So, no, nobody has killed DRB. That makes no sense at all. At all. Okay, now, even some people are saying, oh, no, they're going to drag it all the way to 2020. Some even go to 2018. No. The RB, according to my sources, will happen in 2017. Period. I even said it over here, openly. If it goes beyond 2017, I'm gone forever. You never listen to you. You will never hear from me again. There is no way I'm going to hold my life for something that I know that if it doesn't happen this year, it's not going to happen. That's it. None. Okay? But since I am a believer and I believe about the prophecy and the prophecy just confirm my, conf my, my personal information, I know it's going to happen this year. Okay? All right. So let me just, let me just uh, mention... Some of the points that the Dinar Gurus are telling their subscribers, okay? Do's and don'ts on windfall wealth. If you don't understand that word, let me just explain to you. What is a windfall wealth? Well, a windfall wealth is anybody who become millionaire overnight. Yesterday you were poor, today you are you are rich, filthy rich. That is windfall. So there's, they're giving the list of the do's and don'ts. And I just read some of them. They make a lot of sense. Okay? So let me, re let me read it so you can appreciate this information. The more informed you are, the better you're going to handle this. And after I'm done with this, I will give you my intel. So relax. Relax. All right. So do's and don'ts. Treat it like a powerball win. Yeah. Just treat it like it. So you win. Big deal. Tell no one, not even family, if you must talk to do so with one who is already in the know. What did I been saying in shows before? Shut up. I said, shut up. What is the problem that you have by shutting your mouth? Don't tell your girlfriend, then don't tell your mom, don't tell your dad, don't tell your brother, don't tell your sister, don't tell anybody. Shut up. Why? Look, it takes somebody who already went through this bullshit to know this. I went through this. Okay? I went through this. And I know what I'm talking about. Shut up. Don't tell anybody. When you become rich, do everything in steps. Don't do it all the sudden. Don't buy a brand new Maserati or a high class sport car overnight and show it up like a every moron. Because what you're going to get after that it is only people that will only want to have a piece of you. That's it. They will only want to have, they will only, if they're going to be together for you, any woman, any guy, anybody, they will only look for getting a piece of you. What you can give it to them, not what they can give it to you. You will call the attention of the whole block, my friend, but everything you will be surrounded it is fake. Will be fake. And trust me, living in that situation is the more sad, sad situation there is. Let's go to the other point. Do not run and buy new stuff. I just mentioned it. Get a, an unpublished number and give it up very sparingly. Change your number, your cell phone number. If you have a home number, change it. Don't give it to anybody. If people look for you, just tell it, oh, I just got it and I just change it. I'll come back to you like that. Get out, get away. Disappear. Okay? All right. Get a task accountant. 
You can trust, you can make a trust, you can make sure that the IRA is satisfied, pay all your taxes. Before you even do any spending, pay all your taxes, moron. Please. And I call it moron because the first thing people goes is spending, spending, spending. Relax. This can be your biggest blessing, but it probably can be the biggest curse. Relax. Okay? All right. Most lovely. There's another point. They're beautiful. Most lovely. Okay? People notice. Change of car, change of address, furnishings, etc., etc. All right? If you're going to stay where you are, look into fire, burglar protection. They have all the sorts of extras nowadays, and you do not have to advertise them or for them. And the reason also I want to point out is that if you do not change your number, believe it or not, if you do not change your number after you exchange, if you do not change your address after you exchange, you will get bombarded by a lot of companies that will look for a piece of you. Guarantee it. Okay? All right. Get identity theft protection. Yes, of course. There are several companies up there. All right? Check them out. Google it. All right. So... Pay all your debts, pay them out, okay? Start, start clean, start clean, all right? All right. Now, if you are about to be sued by somebody, get an attorney, all right? If you know that you may get sued by somebody, get an attorney. Be ready. They will get you. All right. Set up a family trust. If you don't have a, a family trust, if you don't have a family, just set up a trust. You don't want nobody to know if you have wealth, right? Go to an attorney, somebody who has experience in trust and consult them. Don't tell the attorney that you are filthy rich. Just tell them about, give me information about the several trusts and which trust should I get. You analyze the information and you make the decision. Okay? All right. Contact your bank and set up... Well, what is this? Contact your bank and set up POD accounts. And nah. I got better. I got better to that. Uh, all right. Some of the points are good. Some of them, they're irrelevant. I'm going to post this in my Facebook page. All right, so it is good. It is good that the intelligence community is preparing people. It is really good. I appreciate that. All right, I'm not attacking the dinar gurus. I'm not attacking anybody. As a matter of fact, I'm not attacking. If you are good, if you are guru, is already preparing you for this event right now, as I am right now. I congratulate them. I really do. Because the more informed, the more informed, the more the more people are informed, they depend on us. Believe it or not, I have a lot of responsibility on my back. A lot of people depend on my information, and I really appreciate that. But it's a, a lot of responsibility for me. I really need to have all my ethics very firm. That is why I do not, and I repeat it again, I do not contradict myself. I have never contradicted myself. Now, are you ready for the intel? I hope so. Because you need to understand the situation right now. Alright? Here comes my intel. I had a meeting. I'm not going to mention with who. You already make up your mind. Just figure out. And within the, in within the meeting... There were several bankers. They were all talk about the things that they were supposed to do with the public exchange and all that. But there was a point that nobody knows exactly when they want to do the public exchange. And I want to point it out that I told in my last show, it was in my last show, the, the show before, and I even announced it on Facebook. 
that the bankers, the elite, they were too busy into the Heather private accounts case. They lost control and Donald Trump came over and took over the RB. So this elite that I always have contact with, they don't long they no more have any longer any power, any control into the RB and they hate it. Therefore they didn't know when the RB will be done. Okay? So now that you understand this who has the information for the RB? Donald Trump. He knows when the RB will happen. Okay? The elite behind Donald Trump knows when it's going to happen. Simple as that. Now, some of the elites are talking about that they believe, they strongly believe that the public exchange and all the stuff will explode in September. That's what they believe. I'm not saying it's going to happen. Okay? They even come out with a date. And they said that the date might be, potentially be, September the 23rd. Now you're gonna you're gonna say I know I'm gonna be uh, like attacking the over there. They're gonna be talking shit about. Oh look at this moron! He's just repeating what other Christian morons are saying about the wealth distribution. Well, guess what, idiot? I don't have control of this thing. I only the messenger. When they told me about the date. Was I surprised? No, because they've been talking about this for a long time. I even consider myself that if this didn't happen in July, it probably happens in September. But I never told anybody because I stick with my information. And now they say that it probably will happen in September. That is only one part of the elite. Only one part, not the majority. Okay? All right. What is next? We already have Iraq that no longer have any restrictions. That the United Nations says you're out of bankruptcy. Good. And some of the gurus, with all the respect, some of the gurus saying, "Yeah, but that doesn't mean that Iraq is international. We're international." Well, I'm sorry to do. I'm sorry to disagree with you. With all due respect, Iraq is already international, and there is no change in the rate. And somebody can even come out and say, that's not possible. That is literally not possible. What do you mean not possible? Vietnam has been in the international market for more than 30 years. Do you see the currency changing? No. It is possible. So, Iraq is now 100% international, believe it or not. The moment the United Nations took out the bankruptcy and all the restrictions, that's it. They're international. Okay? So, what is next? We haven't seen the lower dinams. We haven't seen the lower dinams. They haven't, they haven't distributed to the public. We have confirmation that they will load it by August the 20, ready for the people to take it out on August the 21st. That's what they told us. So when we see the law of Dina, we potentially, and not potentially, we will see the change of the rate. Why? Because it is, how can I say it? It is impossible for them. To deploy lower denoms, if their lower denoms are going to be as worthless as the highest 100,000 dinars they have in their hands, okay? Do you understand that? It is. It has no. It has no. No economic sense at all. They need to give. They forcibly need to give another price, another value to that currency. They must. Okay. So, 
when we see the lower demands coming out, we will see the revaluation. So if we are not mistaken, we probably see, we are say, I say maybe, we probably see the lower denims after the 21st of August. Now, let's assume that Iraq do that and we have a new value. And this is something that I know I'm going to be attacked. I know that. But based on the information that I've been told, the rate will only affect inside the country, inside Iraq, not internationally. Does it make any sense? For many people, they will not make any sense. Okay? For many people, it will not make no sense. But let, let me just put it this way. They can do whatever they can do because this is the elite in that country. They don't care about you and me having all these dinars in our hands. They have never cared about it. The same way that they have never ever cared that we get filthy rich. They don't like the idea. I have said it because I'm not contradicting myself. They don't like the idea that after we destroy the country, we're going to be rich. They don't like it, but they cannot do nothing about it. But I guess what? I've been told that they might have to drag it all the way to September and potentially back on September the 23rd. So let's just wait. Let's just wait what happened, okay? Don't fall for chaos. Don't panic. We are in an excellent situation. Don't panic. Things are looking beautiful. Things are looking great. If you only knew how my contacts, they're now looking like, like with light in, the, in their eyes because they know they're going to get, they're going to cash in. All right. So be patient. I know that you've been waiting 12 years. You're going for your 13th year. So what? Wait. There's nothing you can do about it. All right? So you get upset with me. Get upset. You're not going to make any change. If you cannot make any change, neither do I. Because nothing is around Benny. And nothing is around all the gurus around here. There's nothing around even around the dinar. If you put up your family... If you put up this RB over your family, over the loved ones that you have in your life, even your own life, you are more. Life does not start with the RB. It doesn't. Life starts when you find peace within you. That's it. Okay? So let's just wait for four days. Now you're going to be asking yourself, why I'm going to wait four days? Just wait four days. Tomorrow will be your first day. The 11. Wait four days. That's all I got to tell you. I'm not going to give you details. I'm not going to give you any bull, bull crap. Just wait four days. Thank you so much for your attention. And thank you for all the beautiful letters that I've been sent out. And let me see if I got any more questions. Oh, Pout is just Benny pay on death. I know that. But it doesn't make any, any sense right now. <clears throat> and now they're saying, are you talking about the health system in the U.S.? Yes. If I'm talking about the pharmaceutical industry, I'm talking about everything about the health system. It is corrupted. Okay, people should not go bankrupt because they owe money to get a cure. Simple as that. Okay, all right. I gotta go because I gotta do the Spanish show. It is three forty-seven Pacific time, and I gotta go. Thank you so much for your attention, and I'm looking forward to to give you more information tomorrow in our first day of the four days. For now, 